All right, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. And today we're gonna be talking about some stuff that I'm hyped for for the return of it's like the return of the Revengeance of the Revenge of the Cartels event. Basically, on June 24th, everybody knows the Revenge of the Cartel event's coming back, and they're adding a lot of new stuff per se. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, we're gonna be talking about some of the main stuff that if we're if we're going on based off what we had last year weapons that we're looking forward to having level 65 variants of and stuff like that anyways let's just go ahead and talk about it also let me know what y'all's favorite piece of gear you're looking forward to for a level 65 version of in the Ruben to the cartel event because you know these weapons are insanely good so obviously one a, a big one for me obviously it's gonna be the opq pretty sure everybody was with me on this one right you know OPQ system is a deadly high, it's just a naturally high rolling damage uh, Atlas Assault Rifle. Definitely Atlas's best weapon for sure. Even at level 57, this thing can roll like around and like, I want to say like, can roll like, I think it's like 10k? Like close to 10k times 2. I mean, this thing can still put in some work even at level 57. Anyways, let's move on. OPQ system's insane. So we also got the no pew pew, in my opinion. A very, very popular COV assault rifle. Uh, this thing, uh, <laughs> being that it be, the thing about the no pew pew is that it's got a high fire rate. It's got a lot of shots to break with a pretty relatively quick repair time. Uh, it can roll into times three. It has uh, really good uh, passives on its card overall. And then the longer you're shooting it, the faster. This thing's like ramping up. It's like, and then when it's fully going, this thing is just absolutely disintegrating everything. <laughs> very, very disgusting. Now, the grease trap is actually a pretty good weapon if used right. You uh, basically have it in two forms of fire with hot grease and fire starter. You basically want to lather the boss in hot grease, and then once you do that, you would then switch to your fire starter mode, light it, and do a big uh, thing of damage. Although, I think these days, this will probably be even better and more insane. So, uh, we'll see for sure. Obviously, a big one to talk about is going to be none other than the uh, yellow cake rocket launcher. This thing's absolutely disgusting. It did receive a nerf right before the release of the Guardian takedown, unfortunately, but it still is going to be insanely, insanely strong. Can we not wait for this thing to return? You read 390. All oh, that good jazz cannot wait. Honestly, at that point, there's really only one other piece of gear that I'm actually looking forward to, and that is going to be thy fish slap now a lot of people use uh, level 57 fish slaps in modern day builds so seeing this rolled in level 65 is going to be absolutely filthy uh, with asa uh, grenade damage being really good any asc is pretty good uh, just a modern day fish slap is going to be very very awesome now honestly i'm not a big fan of like many of the shields i think maybe the firewall could be will be a little bit better uh this go around since uh how you know the game's a lot more fixed than when these web than when these were first introduced into the game. But other than that, that's honestly just going about wrap it. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on y'all's favorite gear coming back into the game at level 65 and all that good stuff. Let me know down in the comments below. If y'all are new around here and y'all do like daily content, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 10,000 subs and we post daily content. You know what I'm saying? Especially like Borderlands 3. What's up? Run it. <laughs> Anyways, though, with all that stuff being said out the way, hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Cree. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.